Hey, my Juju Bees, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing great today. If you are new to the channel, could you please like, comment, or subscribe to the channel? I would really, really, really be ecstatic if you did so. Um, today, I'm just doing some homemade chicken fajita nachos. I had a craving for them. I can't get to the Mexican restaurant, so I decided that I would make them on my own. So I have the chips right here. It's just my cheese. But what I'm going to do is make them so you guys can see me eat them. So here's my chips. These just regular restaurant style tortilla chips. And I'm going to pour this over here. And I made this chicken fajita stuff yesterday. And I cooked it in like the crock pot and let all of the flavors simmer together. It was so good. Hopefully, it's just as good today as it was yesterday. See you later. Thank you. Okay. My daughter, she just can't help it. All right, we're going to set that to the side. We don't want to get the juices on there. And I'm just going to take some of my cheese, just cheese from Crawford, just mozzarella cheese. this on top of here I have green peppers onions stop please and red peppers um, on my mixed in there with the chicken fajita as well so this is my cheese I had melted it it's this cheese it is called Gordo's cheese dip authentic Mexican restaurant style with jalapeno see that I just got it from Kroger's in the cheese section, but it comes like queso thick like that. But then I just put it in a microwave to make it like this. Put that to the side. Gotta have my sour cream. Have to have my sour cream. When I go to the Mexican restaurant, they always ask me. I always ask, can they put it on the side for me? So I'm going to just do a little dollop. Do a dollop of Daisy. All right, y'all. We are in here, and I'm just going to get to eating. So how are you guys today? Today was Monday. It wasn't that Monday. I didn't have that Monday blues today. Like, oh, you know, I'm dreading going to work. But it was... Still Monday. What's up? First bite. Mm -hmm. I also have Mountain Dew to drink. So. How are you guys feeling today? Hmm? I hope you guys are staying home. I know I said I won't go talk about this every video, but it seems like everything I watch or when I get on the internet, it's always about this here virus that has plagued us. But in the last video, I was telling y'all that. Can you give me a napkin? I'm sorry. Here, put this in the refrigerator. Um, that I was going to order my two times spicy sauce so that I could do one of the two times spicy challenges. So I went on ahead and ordered the sauce. I just don't know which challenge that I'm going to do yet. I might just do the... Uh -huh.
the lobster sandwich. About to say snacks. And just do the best that I can. Cause I know I'm not going to be able to sit, eat six lobster tails. But I'm going to try. That might be better than trying to eat ten prawns. Because I know I can't do that. I will be full, full, full. So I did order my two times spicy sauce. And it did come. Ooh, I got my two times spicy sauce. I went ahead and ordered two. Just in case. They say it got good flavor. So I think what I am also going to do is probably put it on some noodles. So I cast some two times spicy noodles. I know I have some. A lot of people do it on noodles. So. We try to do that too. Maybe that's what I'll do first. Just to taste it two times. Spicy sauce. I will. Put it on some noodles. So I can have two times spicy noodles. That's probably better huh. I have to say that I've been trying to think of something, and that might be a good idea. Two times spicy noodles first, so I know what to expect, because I can only imagine how hot that sauce really is. I wish I had a margarita. <laughs> so my daughter's school, it was supposed to go back April 13th, but I don't think, well, I, I'm going to say I don't think I know. They're not going back until May the 1st now. I guess I know it's necessary and I understand, you know, the precaution that everybody's taking, but I know that's just a long time. It makes me worry about like how the school, what they're going to do as far as next year is concerned. Are the kids just going to automatically go to the next grade? Are they going to make them have tests? Like that part kind of worries me. I worked in the school system and I can only imagine the mayhem that this is causing not only for the teachers but for the students too especially like seniors they don't get to have graduation or prom you know stuff you wait for to when you become a senior i know one of my friends her daughter is in college and she's about to graduate from college and as of right now they don't even have a graduation for college so that's really, really sad because, you know, you work hard all those four years to have your parents and friends of the family come to see you cross the stage and celebrate you. And now it's been compromised. Like I said, I know why they're doing it. Mm, mm, mm. But that still doesn't make it less sad. My teacher friends who they miss their students. Shout out to all of my teacher friends. If you are a teacher friend of mine and you watching this video, I'm so sorry. I love you. But you're going to kill it next year, friend. Um, but like I said, I am sad for them because a lot of their stuff that they've worked so hard to do and achieve is going to go, but maybe they'll postpone it. I was seeing, everybody was saying like, don't postpone, don't uh, cancel the graduation, just postpone them June. Cause I, I guarantee you, I would be at one of my friends, her daughter, the graduate from college. I would be at her graduation if it's in August. I will. It don't matter when it is. I'm coming. So maybe they could just postpone it so that they don't miss that. That special time. You know, some people struggle to get to become 
seniors in high school and seniors in college and they worked hard you know they probably was scrambling to get there but they worked hard to get there Although we are very proud of our graduates, whether it be from college or high school, sometimes that might not be enough for them, you know? They want that recognition, that balloons, that cap and gown, that graduation parties. and But, again, I know why. I know the importance of it, but it's still a little bit much. A little bit much. This is how many like people like Mexican food? Let me know in the comments what's your favorite Mexican dish if you like Mexican food. So I was watching another uh YouTuber and her and her husband do um like game night Friday and they had this um game on there I think it's the black card revoke game and I want to get that and play that with somebody I have to have somebody to play with me of course I can't play it by myself so but we quarantine so it ain't even like I can have my friends come over and play so maybe I will play it with you guys, I don't know, or maybe my mom might play with me, have her play it in the background because I want to play that game. I want to buy it and play it because they said it's really nice, it's fun, or maybe I'll find something else that I can play where it's just me. Or like I could do like a Q&A where you guys can ask me some questions and maybe I can answer uh, the questions that you have. I don't know, something. I still, nobody still has comments to tell me what else that they want to see on the channel as far as food is concerned. I'm getting full. I wasn't that hungry to begin with, but I was a little hungry and I thought like, why not show y'all my nachos? I also want to shout out my nurse friends. Because they're working on the front lines too. And they don't have a choice. trying to chew that up it got caught right there take a little sip i said i wasn't gonna be drinking no more pop and i haven't had none all day i saved it for this and this is the last of the pop i have at my house so i can work on not drinking any oh it's such a struggle for me i'll be trying i do it and i fall back into it it's like a terrible love affair. <laughs> Your friends be like, girl, you need to leave him alone. He ain't no good. I be like, I know, but it just tastes so good. and It ain't good for me, though. So I, guess I need to leave it alone. But it's a, it's a work in progress. Don't judge me over here. Don't judge me. I'm getting it together. I am getting it together. But like I said, if you guys are watching this video, if you knew or if you've seen any of my other videos, I do have this two times spicy sauce and I need to know what should I do with the two times spicy sauce. So if you have any ideas of what I should do 
with this sauce, please put it in the comments. Either I can make some noodles, I could put it over some chicken. Um, I could do the two times spicy challenges with the prawn, excuse me, or with the lobster tail, but I'm kind of iffy about the uh, prawns because that's so many. I know I can't eat 10 and I don't want to waste them, but I will rinse them off and use it for another video. <laughs> So whatever you think, like, you know, if you try the two times spicy sauce before and you think it would be good with something, you know, let me know and I could try something new. I'm just trying to, you know, gauge my audience and do what you guys want to see. So if you want me to two times spicy channels with some noodles or two times spicy channels with some lobster tail, please let me know in the comments. Please let me know in the comments. So you have to comment. You have to like and you have to subscribe if you are new. If you see me before and you wasn't quite sure if you wanted to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it, as Casey can actually say. <laughs> so, I would love to do that. So, if you watched the video, my um, video from yesterday where I did the, did I seafood yesterday? Yep, I had seafood yesterday with my beloved sauce. So if you watched that video yesterday, thank you so much for watching. If you watched it yesterday and you're watching this today, go check out my... I have a few other videos that I have posted on there. Some with me and some of my daughter as well. So go ahead and do that. But like I said, you guys, let me know what you want to see on my channel. I wanted to come today and post a video because my goal is to continue to post one video every day. So that I can build everything up. So if you um, are watching this video, share, share, share. Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want to share it at. Whatever your platform is. Like, subscribe, send it to your friends. Um, because that's what my desire is to grow my channel. Um, so, thank you so much for... My Juju Beast, thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for subscribing. I love you all and I hope that you will continue to support me in whatever my future endeavors are on my channel. Again, I will see you next time. Bye, my Juju Beast.